with all the frames permanently bonded to the stringers. In this video, we'll be shaping and permanently bonding the stem. But first, I need to get a better fit of the stem into the keel slots. I'm not very skilled with a plane, so instead I mark the location of each frame on the stem. And then I round off the edge of the stem with a quarter inch radius bit in my router. To mark the intersection of the stem and the keel, I put a wooden batten into the keel slot. And then mark the trim line. and repeat on the port side of the stem. To mark the front profile of the stem, I load up the template design in Shaper Studio. But now that I'm a big time YouTube influencer, I outsource the template cutting to a father-daughter duo I mount the template jig flush to the stem jig and draw the trim line. The spring back in my jig was about 0.6 inches. I cut the stem profile on a bandsaw. As you may have guessed, this was not my best idea, so I'll let you watch the entire painstaking cut. And here is where I discovered that during the lamination process, I had a lot of polyethylene film stuck between one of the layers.
So, if you remember when I was laminating this, the plastic bag got caught up in there and it turned out it got caught in by a good inch and a half or more of this three inch wide stem. So I was pulling the bag out and I've got, I've got some significant delamination. So I'm trying to decide, do I just rip this off and do a new board on here or do I lift it up and bond it down with new epoxy? Now there's gonna be aiming blush on here, I assume. So I have to get that cleaned up. So I'll get that cleaned up and then obviously put the keel over the top. So it's April 26th and it's snowing outside today here in Minnesota. And I wanna describe what I'm doing right now. I used a bandsaw and I cut the stem down to the top of the slots. The keel will go over the top of this. And as you saw from back Many, many months ago, when I was laminating this, I got some of the polyethylene film cut between the boards. I, for the future parts, I had a workaround, but I learned the lesson the hard way. So I've propped this up. I've got all the plastic out of here, and I do have more in here, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out, and I'll reinforce this, and I'll make it work. Because it's a very heavy, I'd say over-designed stem. And you can see how much I cut away. Okay, so I have everything clamped in place and I decided I'm not gonna put pretension on here because I only gain about 0.3 inches of thickness on the stem down here. And then I'm gonna have to deal with always having it under pretension to the same amount. So what I'm gonna do instead, is take this clamp off and just mount it when it's in a neutral zone. And that's about 0.7 inches. So. I think I'm going to be okay with that. And you can see I've already put the line of where I got to cut. So I've seen other people cut this right on here, but I would rather cut this on the bandsaw and then finish up the shaping by hand here. That's a lot of material for me to cut. So I've got the top done. I'm going to profile this and then I got to come through and because there's going to be an aiming blush here, I got to wear the plastic polyethylene but I'm gonna break or pick all this up and really sand this out to get rid of the aiming blush and re-epoxy it down. I gotta decide and go how far I'm gonna come in here to clean this up. I can't cut the stem too far, but I'm really glad that I uncovered some of some of this polyethylene in here. So and on the back side I was able to get all of it out, which is great. So this is completely for show, but it gives you an idea of how much of this stem I'm cutting away. It's kind of crazy to think that we made this whole thing just to cut this away and throw it out. But when you look at the profile line, you can see that it comes right up to, in the thickest spot, right up to that last board. So it was necessary to do this. It's just the profile, you end up wasting a lot of wood, but quite amazing. And the funny part is where I changed how I was clamping and fixed that polyethylene getting caught problem, it's all up in here. Everything getting thrown out is perfect. And my defect is right at the edge of where I need to save it, but I can fix it. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Next, I cut the front profile. Next, I cleaned up the amine blush from the delaminated layer.
On the frames, I cleaned up both the stem and the keel slots. And finally, cleaned up the stem. While the epoxy is uncured, I use a clamp to center the stem. Next, I install the first board in the keel. Hidden from the camera, I bond the keel board to frames 4 and 5 using a super secret method.
Till next time, cheers.